What is good, Hyperbot fam? We are back working on the Fox. Uh, it's been a few days since we really recorded much. Um, been a little sick. Got a little work done since then. So, got the interior basically all ripped off. Did this basically while I was sick since it was just some easy work. So, got the dash out, center console, both seats, carpet, everything out. I'm gonna start ripping some of these harnesses out. It's a lot of wires in here, so get some of that ripped out. Um, we got a laptop hooked up to it and determined that the fuel pump was actually keeping it from starting. So we got the old Aeromoto fuel pump out of there and got a uh, man the fuel in there while we get the Aeromoto built. Um, what else have we done? We changed the oil. Oil was absolutely disgusting here. Oil was just disgusting. So uh, I assume it hasn't been changed in like six to eight years. So change the oil up. Change the fuel pump. Um, we're gonna get everything wired up today. Got a switch panel, which is in the garage. Got a little switch panel right here. Get that wired up. Put in the car. I think I will probably put it like either right here or up on the road cage here. I'm um, trying to find the best spot that's still accessible to the driver, but out of the way enough. So that's why we're thinking like right here. So. Yeah, so we're gonna get some stuff wired up today. Clean up the inside a little bit. Um, hopefully, have this thing running. Maybe take it off for a test drive today too. We'll see. First, we are gonna go ahead and get the Durango topped off with oil. One thing about these Hellcats, man, is they literally drink oil. Like, if I get my oil changed, and it doesn't matter, it's on both cars. It's not like one car is using more oil than the other. It's on both of them. Um, if I get my oil changed one week, uh, within two weeks, I'm I'm putting a quarter to of oil in. So they just, they're just beasts, man. They just drink, literally drink up oil. So get that filled up. Update on the red eye, man. It is still in the shop. Brought it there after I took it racing. Um, it just had a really weird one-two shift. And then it would not take the two-three shift. So... I brought it there. I doubt there's much they're going to be able to do for it. It did have an oil leak as well. The oil cooler was leaking. So we got that taken care of. Um, I completely ripped out, like, the um, belly pan, or I'm sorry, the inspection cover. Completely ripped it off. So had to get that fixed. It's almost $800. Oh, there is a bolt loose on my supercharger. Why the hell would that be? Okay, I have no idea why that would be loose. My supercharger has never been opened. All right. No, that's a little weird. That was completely out. get back to help with these freaking wires I don't I don't know what I'm I know a little bit about what I'm doing but when it's coming to freaking fuel pumps and managing ECUs I'm gonna let somebody who knows what they're doing help me out a lot so I'm gonna get all this nasty freaking whatever from the carpet or sound deadening whatever it was here I'm gonna get this peeled off hopefully and then maybe clean up a little bit of the inside here.
like that. Got all the glue carpet stuff off. Looks a lot better now. Little stuff like that just makes me mad and I'm not gonna have stuff like that, so. Got it taken off about 45 minutes. Bottle of glue gone, little elbow grease. Got her out of there. As you can see, we got the band of fuel mounted up under here. Still got the aeromotive filters on it. We are gonna ship the aeromotive unit to get rebuilt. It's a thousand dollar fuel pump, so we're not just throwing it away, but this is gonna be up there for the time being, and it might just re remain on here, honestly. We need just the aeromotive for a different build, but it's pretty clean under here for the most part. 